That'll be the one that we'll come back to when we've seen each of these, we can get the full experience. So first off, let's do the, um, stay on the, uh, stay off the grass there. Come on, man. That's not cool. I think we got to find, um, Leonard for this first option. He's fresh in my mind. Let's take him up on that. Yeah, the jungle. Uh, okay, that's that's how we go here. All right, fair enough. Here's our house. There's the clerk. I, st I don't understand all the warping everybody's doing here. Larry? Oh, that's the real estate guy. Yeah, yeah, okay. There can't be that many houses up for sale in Brooklyn Heights with so few people, but that's fine. All right, so let's... Oh, this guy's different. The bearded man says, Drop by the hardware store sometime. You may find something you need. Oh, we're like merging. It looks like I have his hairdo. That's fun. Then he just disappears. All right, so Leonard was here? Leonard will be outside soon, okay. There he is. I've been getting some business from the poster in my warehouse, Gerard. What can I help you with today? Well, it worked on me too, Leonard. I hate to say it, but I want to buy a ticket. You'll never find a cheaper time to travel, Gerard. Yeah, so if we wait until they announce the gold rush at, I think, like 12 or 14 or 15 minutes or something like that, the prices skyrocket. The, the value of my house plummets. Everyone's trying to get out of Brooklyn at that point. So we're kind of, we're ahead of the curve if we do it quickly here. Kind of a cool little feature of the game, if you ask me. There is room on the ship. The routes to California are around Cape Horn or by the way of Panama. The prices are Panama Route 900, Cape Route 650. Are you interested in a ticket? All right, so maybe we'll... Uh, do it before the gold rush too. Heck yeah, uh, Leonard. What route are you interested in? Cape Horn or Panama? One more thing to mention. Panama, I think, gives you the most points in the end of the game. So we'll probably want to go with Panama last. I'm going to go Cape Horn. Cape. The cost of a trip to California by way of Cape Horn is $650. Chump change, Leonard. Sign me up. Pay the man. Here's your ticket. I hope you strike it rich. He probably thinks I'm a fool, but that seems like an awful lot of money, by the way, <laughs> in 1848. I know it's across the country and everything, but like, I don't know. Just saying, we could take a Greyhound today for, I don't know, 100 bucks, 200 bucks. I, don't, I really don't know. Cool. All right. So we need to buy some stuff before we head on out. So, got to make sure that we're ready for this trip. You think $650 would buy you? Yeah, this is before we had the canal, I suppose. Still, $1848. Come on now. That's what I say to the people in 1848 charging. Whoa! We're dead. <laughs> First death. Get a lot of customers that way, or do you keep a lot of customers that way, friend? And he just goes about his business, by the way. Look at that. The horse, I can, you know, look the other way on that. It's a horse being a horse. But that guy's just like, busy. Very busy day. Gold rust about to be announced. Don't have time to be cleaning out the corpses that get kicked to death by my horse. It was a different time. Uh, is this the only save I have? Is that the most recent save I have? Yeah, I guess so. Come on now. Cape. Yes. Pay. Alright. More saves. That's what we need. Alright, first death. Good to get that. 
under our belts. So with inflation, 650 and 1848 dollars would be 25 grand. My God. Yeah, I don't know. That seems a little steep. But Leonard, maybe Leonard knows something we don't. Or rather, we know something he doesn't. So why? <laughs> we should be like, come on, man. It's not like they discovered gold out in California. All right. Let's see if we can make it without getting kicked to death this time. There we go. Talk. Wait outside? No, I want to hang outside your place of business. All right, fine. Fine. Oh, we're dead again. Just hang out. No? If you don't want my business, man. There's stage travel. I guess that's that's another way that we can go. There's a grocery store. Probably get some food or something. Probably stop off at the hardware store. Yeah, I like the changes in perspective and everything. That's nice. Uh, what do you got? I want stuff. Look. It's the best grocery store in town. There's a lot to look at, so feel free to look around. Look at food. Look around. Buy. Sorry, sir, we don't have blank. Look at display. Look at wall. Look in store. What do you have? Buy oranges. I see your account has a positive balance. I'll put that on. Yeah, yeah, charge. Just put it on my account. Add it to the tab. Yeah, give me some fruit. Does he have anything else that we need? Buy vegetables. Look at shelves. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I remember when I was a kid at the grocery store, they had all the candy in those barrels like that. Makes me think there's candy in there. Give me some candy. We don't have candy. Give me some beer. We don't have beer. Uh, buy... <laughs> Different game. We don't have rubbers. What kind of uh, adventure game is this? Buy meat? We don't have meat. Buy vegetables. So what do we have? Oh, we have vegetables. We have citrus fruit. That's good. Is there anything besides vegetables and fruit? Oh, yeah, we're going to need a cowboy hat. Hook me up. First, I'll take... We don't have a cowboy. We don't have cowboy. <laughs> Fair enough. Can I get a gun? That might be dangerous. We don't have gun. Well, then I... Yes? I've heard rumors about Golden California. I figured since you work at the newspaper, you might know if they were true. At this time, rumors are just that. Rumors. That's what I thought. But if they are true, I hope they are. I'd be on my way today. Well, wait for... Oh my god, 25 seconds. We gotta move. Get out of there, dude. I'm trapped in the grocery store. Alright, there we go. Alright. I think that's all we need for this particular trip. <laughs> Hope it's all we need. We interrupt this game for a very important announcement. I love it when they break the fourth wall like that. President Polk has confirmed the reports of the discovery of gold in California. The rush is on. Yeah, it's true. I don't work at the newspaper anymore, friend. <laughs> Ticket prices are increasing. So yeah, it dramatically changes everything in this game. Anyway. Show ticket. Can I just wander on? All aboard! Whatever. Alright. You have 60 out of 60. Congratulations. Alright, so I guess we bought everything that we need. It's nice that they give you those checkpoints like that. All right, so at which point do we, like, 
use the spyglass and fall off the front of the ship. Was that all, uh... Previewing what was going to happen? Here's the realtor. Yep. Saying goodbye. The rest of the game is just basically this for the equivalent of how many screens it would be to take to get to California by going around the tip of South America. I'd say about 79 trillion screens at this pace, but that's fine. Is the timer still going? Look, now they added months, days, and weeks to our elapsed trek time. Dum, 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 dum. It'd be really weird if I were in charge of the, which way the ship was going. What a view. Dance. Dance is not understood. Control N for next scene. Let's talk. What? They're not nearby? Man, it's like a uh, Wes Anderson movie. Let me show you my ship. Why is there a pig running around? This cost me $650. It's just a pig running around on the deck. What are you going to do when you get to California? I'm going straight to the town of Coloma. I heard there's gold aplenty there. The other young man says, I'm with my partner. I'm heading straight for Coloma. That's fun. You guys are together? That's cute. Look at Pig. For now, the pig is the ship's mascot. Later, it may be dinner. <sighs> Very grim. Oh, well. Look at this guy. This nerd reading a book. What's going on, man? You going for uh, gold as well? You are right. It's going to be a long trip, and you will want something to read. Now I look like the idiot. Take this book. I'd like to give it to you. Please take it. That's weird. Say, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. What do you give us? A spy thriller? Oh, the Bible! <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, he would give us the Bible. I'm not really sure if that matters, but anyway. Talk to man. How much gold do you figure you're going to take out of those California hills? That's the standard question on one of these trips. One of the men replies, oh, I'm not greedy. If I can fill my hat with gold every day, I'll be happy. What? The other man replies, I fear we will arrive in California too late. By the time we get there, most of the gold may be gone. It's a good, good point. Why is the ship made of meat, by the way? Notice that? I can, is the cursor showing up? Yeah. <laughs> The layer of meat separating the uh, innards of the ship. Or wood. That's fine, too. I like rubbing elbows with all these uh, blue-collar folks. Hell, I guess I'm one of them now, right? I renounced my cushy job at the paper. I'm one of you now, first mate. I've been sailing with the captain many years and never had a mishap. You can count on a safe trip. There is no more direct way to say we are about to hit a major catastrophe than saying we have never had a mishap. Push captain. Murder. Captain. Murder is not understood. Come on. No one's watching. Kiss the captain? Get a hold of yourself, Gerard. People don't act like that in 1848. Not as openly as you're trying to. All right, let's just talk then. Eric says, hi, Gerard. We're one day closer to that California goal. It's been a day already? This is going to be easier than I thought it was going to be. What, taking the route that you always take? That's right. One day closer. I'll drop by and talk to you later. Okay, that sounds great. Make sure you come by again, says Eric. Maybe I'll be open for that kiss then. It has not been one day closer. What are you talking about, Eric? Do you have no concept of time? Just hit F6. Simple. There we go. Going in down into the bowels of the ship. Hello, sir. Talking helps pass the time on such a long, boring journey and talk. The captain can do. 
He always seems to have a story to tell. Oh, is that the first mate, Eric, and this is the captain? Did I ever tell you about the time I maneuvered that overloaded steamer through the Straits of Magellan? Well... Oh, that didn't take that long. Six seconds at most. Is that all coal down there? Guess that's how this ship runs. Conversing with these men, you learn that they wish to be put to put their shovels to better use in the gold fields. I believe this game was the inspiration for Sting's first solo hit. Might not have been his first solo hit, but. Both these guys just want to put their shovels in the fields of gold. So he shovels it, puts it on the dealie, and then they use AI to transport it between <laughs> the two gentlemen. And then he uh, shovels it into the, the furnace there. Ah, it's the cook. We have plenty of provisions right now, considering the ship is made of meat. That was by design. If we start to run low, then we'll invite the ship's mascot to dinner. Oh, not Porky, a uh, Hamlet. The man sitting at the table says, I'm headed for California to make enough money to buy a farm in Pennsylvania. Then I'm going to home to my wife and kids. <laughs> In that order. He's like, but I don't mind being away from him. Don't get me wrong. The engine man dissertates. This baby has been outfitted with the latest in high-pressure steam engines. When the captain gives the command full steam ahead, I give her everything she's got and blow the whistle. It's not just a... Huh? Oh, there's the whistle. Thanks, man. It's like doing the old uh, her her on the highway, passing the... Uh... That's someone's face? Is that bed made out of face? Oh, it's just like a bed. I'm going to sleep. No time for that. All right. Well, I think we're good to control in our way to the next scene. Land has just disappeared from view. The excitement, expectation, and anticipation of your journey are gone. Now you are beginning to wonder just exactly what you've gotten yourself into. That's what I'm saying. You've left your home and friends. Wait, we didn't have any friends. And you wonder if you will ever see them again. It hasn't taken long, and many of the passengers are seasick. It will be a few days before their, the land lovers get their sea legs, yeah. The passengers, for now at least, are quiet and keep to themselves. Man, you can really see the need for that Panama Canal. No game better illustrates it. But as time goes on, people meet people and have a wonderful time getting acquainted. A lot of people are typing the KISS command. From passing ships, you hear rumors about gold being discovered in California. Most travelers left with great haste, but very few left without a notebook, a pen, and an ink bottle. Many passengers on board are keeping journals of their experience that they have on their journey, playing cards, singing, Reading, sunning, and wrestling. Wrestling? Our other popular activities. 1848 wrestling, sure. Any reading material on board was read to tatters just before the journey had barely begun. Good thing I've got my Bible. Who's laughing now? The captain is relatively young as captains go, but he is a wise and frugal man. <laughs> Don't need this level of exposition. It's fine. The captain makes use of the northeast trade winds through the horse latitudes. He makes use of the wind and sails at every opportunity to conserve the supply of coal and to prevent wear and tear on the steam engine. The Bibble. The food on board is not as bad as expected. In fact, you are really hungry. It is quite tasty. I bet everyone's going to die of scurvy except for us because we bought that orange... It's early in the voyage, rations that are provided are quite safe. Very few get sick from eating them. The food is not yet spoiled. The usual fare of is hard-baked biscuit, salted beef, and boiled pudding once a week. Oh, look at that. It's been two weeks, four days. In the course of the trip, various activities begin to occur on board. Shuffleboard? Debating societies, clergymen have sermons and prayer meetings on Sundays. A band has formed. I mean, that's just inevitable. A ship newspaper has been started. By us? I feel like we would be the most qualified. 
they're like, can I can I join you guys with the uh, newspaper? I, I worked at no, nah, we're good, Gerard. Just uh, eat your oranges and read your Bible. Professionals on board give lectures on scientific. There's six people on this ship. It's not a whole community here. There's also a group called SSA, which stands for Seasickness Anonymous. That's cute. Except nothing's anonymous on this ship when there's, you know, everyone on a first name basis. This group meets at the aft railing of the ship to hurl. It's been three weeks, but the minutes and seconds never change. When the northeast trade winds die down around the equator, the seaman finds himself in the area called the doldrums or calms, a place definitely disliked by crews without steam. Many a sailing ship would lie still in the water for days, even weeks, waiting to take advantage or even of even the slightest wind. This is one of the greatest advantages of steam. We're learning a lot, aren't we? I'm not even joking. <laughs> While other vessels lie motionless, with smoke belching from the smokestack, ye press on. The captain is proud of his ship because it makes way even in the calm. But he is constantly aware of the danger of having that flammable material in the hold. Yeah, that's true. But we've gone how many voyages without a mishap? Can't imagine it's about to start now. Yeah, we already talked about that. Pick up pig. Get pig. Don't do that. We're going to have that eat that pig later in the voyage. Aw. Still just running left and right. Uh, I guess we promised the captain we'd check back in with him. Read our Bible again. Read our Bible again. Read our Bible again. Oh, it's a different page every single time. I guess the two developers, the brothers, were very religious. Is that the idea? And they kind of snuck this in? Or is there like password protection code in this? If I hadn't bought the game, I would have had to uh, dealt with that. Talk to Eric. I've noticed that you're not looking healthy lately. You say to your best friend on the ship, ooh, it's probably just a slight case of seasickness. You'll be over it in no time. I like how we opened and closed that at the same time. You look like crap. Probably just seasickness. It's true, Gerard. I've not been feeling well lately. I hope you're right about the seasickness, says Eric. I should give them some fruit, right? Give fruit. Give Eric orange. Ah, right, let him die. It's fine. Didn't know if that was the problem. Talk to you, Captain. Quickest, oh, trip from London to Hong Kong. That's impressive. Is there anything else to uh, do before I skip ahead again? Talk to you, man. Still never had a mishap. There's that same island. Are we going in circles, Captain? All right. I mean, unless I'm missing something, I guess we'll skip ahead again. Again, we're aboard a mighty steamer. Not the most common type of vessel on the high seas. Clippers are the sovereign of the seas. It will not be uncommon to see many clippers during your voyage. You notice nothing unusual. While passing through the area of the equator, the heat gets unbearable. The deck is too hot to walk on. The tar bubbles in the seams of the deck. Oof. Ask the blonde guy to let you Titanic. I'm, Eric would let me do that. We're good friends. The island of Fernando Navan, who located 190 miles from Brazil. Rumors abound on the actual story pertaining to this island. Alexander Selkirk. Oh, Robinson Crusoe was exiled here. Who knows? Why bother putting it in the game then? In calm weather, especially aboard the sailing ships, one of the favorite pastimes is catching porpoises, cowfish, and any other fish that can be hooked. These catches prove a much needed diversion from your now monotonous diet. Yeah. Do we eat that pig yet? Another night new sight in the night skies of Magellan Clouds. 
Cool. That'd be nice to see a different set of stars up there. One other ship is sighted. The race is on. Competition is fierce. They love to beat steamers. Yeah, I bet. It's that techno uh, technology going head to head. Painting and polishing. Yep. So we get some fruit and everything. Did I eat my oranges, by the way? Oh, okay. Good. So maybe that was for our own health. All right, Rio. Let's meet some of the local ladies. Sugarloaf. There you go. Could be more, could be less, depending on the extent of the repairs. During this time, supplies, including coal, wood, fresh water, and food, are replenished. Small repairs are made, and the ship is prepared for next leg of the journey. Fruit here is plentiful. You manage to secure more of the fruit to which you attribute your good health. So I wonder if I hadn't gotten any fruit, if he'd be like, I don't want any fruit when I'm in Rio. Just give me some, you know, local cuisine. Uh, it's a fine, well-protected southern harbor. Favorable stopping point. Before the wonder was put up there. more facts from the temperate side of the Tropic of Capricorn. Most passengers on board have little use for such trivia, but it's reassuring to know you are making progress. Alright, there's the Cape. We're going to be starting to spread about the difficult times you're going to encounter in a few short weeks. Horror stories about getting around Cape Horn? Why? We don't have to come in so hot. Passing the 45th parallel, the temperatures begin to drop. Passengers begin spending more time below deck. Huh. When you left Brooklyn, it was the dead of summer. At least until now that June is the dead of winter here. Huh. Yeah. Good point. Didn't think about that. Captains vary in age, experience, and wisdom. But all captains, no matter what their background or experience, approach the Cape with great respect. They ought to realize they are extremely vulnerable to the elements. As you approach the southern tip of South America, the captain advises that all persons aboard uh, are about to encounter attains a degree of violence unknown to any other part of the globe. So the conditions are that bad, huh? <laughs> pig still bad. We haven't resorted to eating the pig yet. Get the pig. All right. You keep saying that. Having the same conversation. Oh, there's the wind. Terod 3. Never had a mishap. Do Titanic with Eric. Uh, Titanic. Titanic. Look, it's the bridge deck. Might be a good place to fish. Oh, it's fish. Yeah. So if we hadn't brought fruit, maybe. Talk to Eric. I feel very weak, Gerard, but I'm going to make it to California. I'm determined to make it to California. You should have bought some fruit, man. Aw. I love this little subplot that Eric's about to die. Oh, the captain just turned. Does he normally do that? Should I be concerned? Talk to you, captain. We 
talked about that. All right, I guess I'll control N it. I guess we're good. Just before rounding Cape Horn, the captain points out to see rocks from which colored, which are colored white from the bird droppings. Oh yeah. Rounding the Cape from east to west is not an easy task. Well, that's why I paid 650 gosh dang dollars to do it. If all goes well, it is usual for a sailing ship to allow three to five weeks to get the west side of the horn. Winds in the area of the Cape rarely blow less than 45 miles per hour and almost always from the west. Gales in this area can easily pick up a schooner and smash it into the rocky shore. The raging seas are the temperature of melting ice. Oof. You scarcely get six hours of daylight. When it's light, it is of little benefit. The overcast hugs the sea and visibility is very low. It's not uncommon for it to snow here in the summertime. The captain is always looking through his looking glass, keeping track of its ship's uh, progress and position. He makes entries in his log religiously. Nowhere is navigation more difficult than in these waters. We cannot stress enough how dangerous this is. But again, I can't stress enough and the first mate that they've never had a mishap. We're good. I paid my money. These guys are professionals. Some sailing ships would take 70 days around the Cape. Some ships would turn back because of the damage the sea had done to them. Some ships would not make it at all. But this ship, <laughs> my God, they're setting this up. You're in the midst of a terrible storm and the ship is taking on water. What? Save the pig. Everything that isn't absolutely essential to the continuation of the voyage has been thrown. Fortunately, the gold coin that was in your pocket, you still have that. Jake's letter is still with you. Still have that. Bible. Everyone agreed to keep that. Everything else now belongs to the raging sea. My oranges and vegetables. My nondescript vegetables. Well, that's not good. The pig looks worried up there. Right now, I wish I was back with my family in Pennsylvania. Ship sounds like it's going to come apart. Nah, we've never had a mishap, guys. Yeah, where is the rest of my money? I threw away a thousand, well, not a thousand, like five hundred dollars in paper? Like, what's that? Just five tiny little bills. You're crazy. Eric, are you okay? Don't worry, man, we'll make it. How have you been lately? <laughs> I'm doing tolerably well. However, if conditions get any worse, I don't know if I'll make it. Wait, where's the captain? Oh, he's up there. Look at desk. A paper clip. What? A paper clip? I mean, take it. Take clip. Is that booze? Take bottle. That's what we need. Oh, that'll do me. <laughs> That's where you're mistaken. All right. Captain. Is everything okay? It's fine. Don't bother me with small talk right now, young man. I've got my hands full. I thought you were gr young, relatively speaking, for a captain. Talk to me. Oh, give me that shovel. Take shovel. Oh, all right. Fair enough. Yeah, but I can't take the shovel. Workers might need to use it. Fine. Is the game's struggling to load. That's how bad the storm is. Are we gonna be okay, guys? Talk. Yeah, I understand that. I like the animation of the sea here. Gotta save Henwin. What about the cook? Understand. Yeah, I don't I don't get the Really feel like we should be able to get the shovel. Like these guys gonna die and then I take the shovel. 
nothing unusual. Take the shovel. Whatever. Can I get to this area? Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Threaten lawsuit. <laughs> That's true. You'd think $650. For that, it would come with some sort of assurance that we'll actually make it. Sure. I don't know. Lee Ham Neeson, that's a good name for the pig. The rounding of Cape Horn, also called Cape Stiff. Sailors could difficulty find you the steers, the steamer north. Oh, we're fine. What are we talking about then? That we were gonna be tossed in the drink. Man. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. I don't want to read these anymore. <laughs> Thought we were gonna get thrown in the ocean. I bet. Gold has been discovered. Yep. Jeez. It's just the stupidest way to get to California, by the way. <laughs> Who would go this way? It's ridiculous. British Full Rig 3 Master. That's fun. Flying Fish. Nope. Yep. All right, it's going on a little bit long now. <laughs> yeah. Understandable. It's a very long time. Let's make another stop then. One man has already died, not Eric. Eric? Oh no, Eric! One man has already died. You're not close enough. He's at the bottom of the sea. We couldn't even call him by his first name. One man has already died. Oh look, they ate Hamlet. Liam... Lee Ham Neeson. Damn, that's cold. Oh well. Some string as a fishing line. Is there some string around here? Must be string somewhere on the ship. I don't know. Get shovel. Oh. Stick? Okay. Guess the shovel broke and it's just a stick now. Get string. Just gotta go room to room until we find the string. Where would the string be? Probably attached to... What string? Where was it? Okay. Now we can go fishing. I don't know. Can I just get some of that ham? Eat pig. Ah, uh, whatever. Do my own fishing up top. Get fish. Need some weight to attach to the fishing line. Do I? Use the uh the Bible? 
Use gold flake. Bait line. Way line. I, I don't know what to get here. <laughs> they made me throw everything already. Relax and enjoy the ride. I don't know what I would use to weigh this down. Piece of coal? Our supply has dwindled though, look at that. Get ham? There we go. Nice. I'll pound that right now. Eat ham. Poison? What? Some type of disease that poison the meat. <laughs> we just pass out. What are those guys doing? They're just like cooking it. They're like, yeah, we just like to cook it for something to do. We wouldn't eat it. No one's that stupid to actually eat it. It would kill you. Oh, you didn't know that? Oh, you are dead. Okay. I guess I can still take the ham. Uh, I already have the piece. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm the taste tester of the group. What's this here? Galley and engine room. Look in engine room. Uh, use ham as bait. That's probably that. Maybe that's all we need to to weigh the line down. I mean, like a hook or something. Use ham. Attach ham to line. Uh, bait line. Bait string. Put ham on string. Uh, I don't know what they want from me. Get Metal? Metal scraps? What's like a hook? Get hook? Get metal? You scoop up the metal scraps, being careful not to cut your hands and put them in your- I looked in this room, it didn't tell me I could grab anything. The heck else am I missing? Use metal? Attach a scrap to string? I don't know, maybe, maybe that's what we need. Get wood. Fish. Okay. That's cool. Sweet. Ah, the pork. It did, it was the bait. Makeshift apparatus. Look at that. Pretty smart. Like we don't even acknowledge what happened to uh to Eric. Real pull up. Get fish. Oh he's doing it. Good job, Gerard. Save the day and the lives of those around you. You reel in the catch of the day and share it with your companions. Now you will all make it to California, except for Eric. The captain has given the word that you are only a few weeks from the coast. This is calming everyone's nerves. The arguments and the fights subside. Yeah. Everyone's chilling out. 100 of 250. Yep. Promise made to the Almighty while rounding the cape are all but forgotten. I take it all back. Remember how I promise I go to church every Sunday, God? That was just until I got out of that alive. They don't seem as tough now. Yep. Where are they going to get their gold? What are they going to do with it? How are they going to spend it? 
Awesome. Hope so. Yeah. Portion of the ship has a sufficient size of coal. Other steamers ran out of coal. When that happened, spars, doors, bunks, and portions of the deck were ripped up and fed in the firebox to keep the ship moving towards the gold fields. Yeah, I would hope for $650 we'd have enough coal to get there. Sweet. All right, there you go. One way to get to California. All hands on deck, the long way to promised land. <laughs> What a beautiful sight. Uh. Hmm. That's right. Kill everyone else and look for gold if there's time. So. Oh, wow. Look at that. Going up the river and everything. All the way inland. Full service. There are 95 points possible so far. We have a 100 somehow. Not including the points for reading Psalm 23. Cool. You've arrived in Sacramento. You're the fellow on the ship wearing a white shirt and black pants. Right there next to the paddle wheels. Wait, where are we? Oh yeah, there we are. There are many buildings in Sacramento. You've got to find your way to Sutter's Fort. Well, all right. Sacramento, we'll call that. But right now, we need to um, reload, as I want to do every single method of getting to California. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.